Hello everyone, welcome back. So you might remember this little um, match safe that I made from the birch bark that my brother Howard sent me over at Cabot Bluegill. And um, I put this in my pocket and I was like, you know, it's a little too big. Um, it's good for your pack, good to throw in there, no problem. So I decided to make another one. You all know me, when I start with something I just keep playing and playing. <laughs> So, my intentions were to make this smaller uh, lengthwise, and then I put it together, and then I was like, oh, crud, I forgot to trim it. So, it is smaller, but it's the same size. So, of course, I had just a little bit left, and I made this one. And I think this one is the perfect size. I mean, it's probably just about the size of a, a Bic lighter, right? And there's all your matches inside. And I think this one is perfect to put in your pocket. Then I said, well, what am I going to do with the other ones? So this one is full of Amadou. Now, how cool is that? Have an all-natural container with natural um, tinder in it, right? Then... This one, I said, what am I going to do with this one? So this one, I decided to make these little chaga chunks. So I got four of them in there. And I didn't waste all the dust I got off of them. I can use that too to make fires. So four of them fit in there nicely. And then I was thinking, well, how long will they burn? Right? I mean, it's a pretty decent size. So, I took a piece, and approximately a half an inch cube, pretty close to perfect there, you know, a little off, but, uh, and I said, I wonder how long this will burn. So, let me reset this up, clean this area up, get a little metal underneath that, and we're going to test how long that'll burn. And then we can kind of figure out, this will probably burn twice as long as that, and then I'll know my burn time on these. So let me uh, clear this up, and I'll be right back. All right, let me get one of my matches out. Now, I could light this with a ferro rod. I could light this with um, flint and steel, but I want to just catch a corner because sometimes when you do it with the flint and steel and with the ferro rod, you get multiple hits, and I don't want that. I want to see if it just, you know, just starts burning. So let's get my... Stopwatch. Another little piece of rock from Howard. Got a little breezy day today, but let's see. And there it goes. Let's start it off. Now, if you ever burnt this stuff before, you kind of get an idea how long it lasts. Um, I kind of got an idea how long it's going to last, but if you care to, stop the video and take a guess and put it in the comments. And then we get to the end, see how close you are. I'll tell you, this stuff is amazing. Again, Ron T. Sawyer and um, Howard, Cabot Bluegill, you guys are awesome. I've been having, so, I mean, if you only knew how much fun that I've been having with this stuff. Like I had said in a previous video, I was waiting years to get this stuff. And like I said, I could have bought it, but I just I just wanted it, you know, from someone I knew that harvested it themselves or that I have, you know, that I harvest myself. So again, thank you so much. But we're up to a minute and five seconds. stuff is amazing it really is I see my battery light is flashing hopefully it makes it to the end here right a minute 30 seconds Oh, 
Also love the smell of this stuff. Got a very incensey smell, if that's even a word. All right, we're approaching uh, two minutes. Just hit two minutes. Approaching two and a half here. Still going. That's two and a half. Still got some left there. It's glowing. Approaching three minutes. There you go, three minutes so far. Still get a fire going with that. Three minutes, 45 seconds. Whoa, you know what those are, folks? The nemesis of Florida. Love bugs. They actually eat the paint off your car. Get away. Still cooking. Four minutes, 10 seconds. Wow, burned a pretty decent amount of time. Four thirty four. Still cooking. Approaching five minutes. All right, I'm gonna call it at five minutes because at this point, it's pretty small. And you kind of struggle to get something lit with that. So we'll say a half inch cube could burn for five minutes. So that would mean one of these bad boys We'll probably burn for around 10 minutes, which is awesome. So there you go, little experiment to get your hands on some chaga. Give it a test. It's awesome stuff. Thanks again, uh, Howard and, and Ron, for sending me chaga. Again, I'm having so much fun with it, and hopefully you enjoyed this little experiment and uh, these little birch uh, containers. And I hope you all are having a great day. And like always, everyone, I appreciate all your views, and I appreciate all your comments, and um, I hope you're staying safe, and we'll see you on the next one.